why would we come to Columbia and get some Americans? Like, what? Nah, I'm coming to Columbia. I don't want no New York. I want some Colombian. You know what I'm saying? Started from the bottom. We did. Ain't quite make it to the top. Shit hot around the block. Uh. Shoot like Robert Horry. Bow. But like Jordan always scoring. Started from the bottom. Yeah, what up, y'all? So today we're gonna be talking about the passport bros and the passport sisters. We know a couple of the hot spots for the passport bros, which is Thailand, only Pattaya, Thailand, Sasua, Dominican Republic, Colombia, they go to Medellin and Cartagena, and the fourth spot is Brazil. Uh, they go to Rio. The passport sisters have been trying to do what the passport bros are doing. So we got a video today where they made their way over to Colombia and they kind of took over the club, not in a good way, because they don't really understand the culture and what attention they are actually bringing to themselves. Just like passport bros do sometimes, they go out there flashing money and all of the other stuff. That's bringing attention to yourselves. But we got this message real quick from a girl in Africa who has some kind words to say to the Western women. Let's get into it. Some of you westernized women... I don't need a man. I don't want a man. I can pay my own bills. I make my own money. I'm independent. I'm an alpha woman. Turn it down. What happened to the feminism? The queen, the wifey, what happened to it? But when you reach your knockout stage at 30, 35, with two, three kids later, then you want a man? Ladies, wake up. And honestly, these are some of the harsh truths that we see here with the Western women. You're either gonna get a girl that's a huge partier, right? Don't care, liberal, just whatever, out wilding out. And then she doesn't realize that in her prime years, she should have been focused on getting a man, getting a husband so they could build that family. Now she realizes it when she got two baby daddies, 30 years old, nobody wants to take on that responsibility. No man of stature, I should say. Men who are getting to the bag, they on their purpose, they're on their grind. They could get something younger, you know what I'm saying? 24, you know, whatever, right? No kids. They could build on something. You know what I mean? They don't want to deal with no 30, 35 year olds with a bunch of rules. They got a bunch of rules already. They want to go to these high. They don't even want to go to Cheesecake Factory no more. I know you guys seen a couple of months ago, the, the lady didn't want to go to Cheesecake Factory. They don't appreciate nothing. And I'm not saying all women. This isn't all women. But we see it more and more and more going on. Most men are not dating. Most men are not having sex. This is the reality of here in the United States. Unless you're the top high value man, blah, 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 blah. Or for some reason, the women love, you know, a, a, a hood dude. You know what I'm saying? Probably just got out of jail or something. You know what I'm saying? Come beat it up. Can't really provide nothing, but he can beat it up. You know what I'm saying? For that average guy that's just working, he may not be exactly where he wants to be in life, but he's striving to get there, but he's average, average looking, average money flowing in. He ain't, he not going on no dates, man. We see guys traveling overseas because overseas, it's a lot easier to date. And it's not because women are dumb, they don't go to school or something like that. They got school, colleges, they work just like, it's like that everywhere. Just like here in America, you got poor, middle class, high class the same place in Colombia. It's the same thing in all these other places. You got low class, middle, high. Now, the income that we make, which is which will put us in middle class, we could be considered high class in some parts of the world. That's why people like going. Anyway, forget all of that. Let's get into um these women, the passport sisters who actually went to Colombia and Oh my goodness, wait until you guys see this. Some of this parts is gonna be muted just because it's, it's uh, music in it. And I, I hope I don't get copyrighted, but this video I, I care to make so much that I really don't care if it gets copyrighted, but uh, I had to mute some parts. I hope I don't get copyrighted. Man, make sure y'all watch my ads, man. Nah, <laughs> I'm playing, but let, yo, let's get into it. <laughs>
If you guys don't understand what's going on, they're actually in a club. I'm pretty sure it's Cartagena. First of all, the thing about Colombians, a lot of Colombians, like real regular good girls, they don't go to hip hop clubs. Unless they're into that music, like some do, but most don't. The ones that are in there are like the thing that Fresh and Fit are claiming Fresh's baby mama is. Those are the type of women that are in those clubs. But never mind, right? When you go to those clubs, right, you got guys outside who may be gang affiliated or whatever, right, that are looking for tourists that they can rob, steal, you know, stuff like that from. So you don't really want to bring that type of attention because I've been to, I've been to Cartagena, I've been to Colombia, I got a travel channel, If I'll link it somewhere, wherever. If you guys want to check it out, if you don't, it doesn't matter. You know, I've been to the clubs that play the hip hop music and I've been to, you know, some of the bars that only play the Spanish music. You know what I mean? I've been to both. But the only difference between me and some of these other passport bros, like I bring a, a chick with me already there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, you know, participating in what they got going on in there. But I just like hip hop music. But anyways, um, these women, they're going out. They're sorority girls. They're going out and they're making woo woo uh uh so woo 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 like what the no, first of all nobody cares about your sorority outside of your school. Like in the real world, no one gives a crap about sororities. Just like frats, no one cares. And especially in a spot like Colombia, nobody don't care. Look, at, there's gonna be one point where you're gonna see a girl in the background, a Colombian girl that's gonna look like. They they don't they like what's going on here? Yeah, this girl, this girl in the pink, she looking like. Hold on, we gotta catch it. We gotta catch it. She just, she just kind of rolls her eyes, and like, what the hell? Because you're bringing too much attention to yourself. Look at this. It look, it look like you in like Houston or something. You know, it, they're definitely bringing the American vibe. No one cares about your sorority. Go there. Like, and I've met American women in Colombia. Go there. Have a good time. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you guys a story time real quick, right? So me and my boy, right? We went to Colombia. Um, was it the first? It was the first time I was there. We went to this club or whatever. And it was more of a it was more of a hip hop club and stuff like that or whatever. These group of American girls from New York and stuff like that popped in. My boy tried to holla at them, and they was kind of like eh, playing games, you know, regular regular American shit, you know, you know, regular stuff, regular stuff. You feel me? So they kind of tried to wiggle their way in because we had bottles and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's cheaper to, to me. If you're going to be at a club a long time, you might as well pop up. You might as well get a bottle versus keep buying a drink, especially if you're going to be there like all night or whatever you're going to be vibing. Like just get a bottle on the table. It's more comfortable that way. Standing up in the middle, like nah. So anyway, they seen that we had the bottles and stuff like that or whatever. I had my drink with me and stuff and he was, he was available though, you know? So he was trying to, you know, he was trying to run down nice, you know, black women, you know what I'm saying? They was cool. They look, they look cool, you know? So she was kind of playing with him and shit like that or whatever. But then she kind of tried to wiggle her way in and like, hey, can we get some of y'all drink and stuff like that type of stuff. I'm like, hell nah, y'all not. No, absolutely not. Y'all bosses, right? Y'all, y'all don't give us the time of day in America. So now, why do you, why that we outside the country? Now you want to mess with dudes? Come on. What happened to that strong independent stuff? Y'all here? Y'all might as well pop y'all own bottles. <laughs> Go. And what they did, they went and got a table right next to us and brought their own bottles. That's it. That's what comes with being strong, independent woman. Yeah, pop your own bottles. <laughs> we good. We don't need your company. You know what I'm saying? We in Colombia. We don't want no. Why would we come to Colombia and get some Americans? Like what? Nah, we we coming to Colombia. I'm coming to Colombia. I don't want no New York. I want some Colombian. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that was just a quick little story time, but it was crazy. But yeah, these guys there or these girls. <laughs> It's sad. They're, they're bringing so much attention to themselves. And we don't know what happens after this, but we do know 
that they are bringing attention to themselves. Here, it would just be like people would take it as like, oh, these girls, they just having fun. Like, ah, 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 it's not a big deal. Over there, they look at you as a meal ticket. You feel me? There's people starving over there. You know what I mean? Like I said, there's low class, middle class, high class. Where do you think your people that are doing crime is going to go? They're going to go to the places where they think money is at, which would be more Americanized clubs. So long story short, if you're going to travel, travel, have a good time, but don't do this. Just go be low key, get you a bottle, get you some drinks, get you a lady, you know what I'm saying? Find you a, a regular joint or if you into the pay for play, whatever, do that stuff too. Just know you're taking a risk with that. There's a risk that comes associated with that. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. Don't be loud. Don't be flashy. Don't do none of that. And this goes for the passport bros and now the passport sisters. No one cares about your sorority outside of your sorority. Period. Watch when I get in the mood. No time for the fakes when you see me, I see you, no FaceTime. Shoot my shot, green beam. 2K shit that get a nigga lean.